Hello, I'm Kim Tizer. Today's November 7th, 2022. Here are your latest church militant headlines. In the midst of a vocation shortage, Ireland is expected to lose a quarter of its priests. New figures reveal 25% of Ireland's currently active priests are set to retire in the next 15 years. 15% of currently active priests are past the typical age of retirement, due in part to a shortage of priests. Less than 3% of priests in Ireland are under the age of 40, and the country's sole seminary currently has fewer than 50 men studying for priesthood. Staying in Ireland, a lay Catholic order is being gutted after abuse controversy. Last week, the Vatican dissolved the Presidential Council of Ireland's Order of Malta. Ireland's branch of the Sovereign Military Order specializes in volunteer ambulance services. The decision follows a report showing order leadership were aware a volunteer, Scott Brown, had reportedly sexually assaulted two teenage boys while serving and was not removed. Brown was later convicted of molesting two other male minors. In nearby England, officials are warning against the ever-growing surge of illegal immigrants. Last week, all 14 county authorities for Kent wrote a letter to the Home Secretary complaining their own children couldn't go to school because the government prioritized illegal immigrants over British citizens. The letter reads, local children are having to travel to other towns to access their education. Put simply, Kent is at breaking point. Staying in the UK, students are taking legal action against their universities over lockdown policies. Late last month, letters of claim were sent to 18 universities in England, representing over 20,000 students. The claims demand millions in compensation for disruption caused by lockdowns. The group organizing the legal action, Student Group Claim, argues universities denied students the educational and academic benefits they paid for through lockdowns and online classes. Elsewhere, Canadian doctors are being pressured to kill their patients. A document being circulated to medical professionals instructs them to suggest euthanasia to patients, even if the patient never mentioned it. The document acknowledges Christians generally oppose euthanasia, but demands they suggest it anyway and simply ask another doctor to kill the patient. The document was originally published in 2019, but only came to public notice last week. But in Spain, medical professionals are standing strong against the trans agenda. Last week, the Spanish Association of Bioethics and Medical Ethics condemned a hotly debated bill in Spain's legislature, which would allow teens as young as 14 to identify as trans and seek surgery with no psychological diagnosis. The medical experts argue the bill fails to meet, quote, the minimum requirements of ethical prudence, criticizing especially the bill's protection of trans hormone drugs not approved by health authorities. I'm Kim Tizer. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about big media's phony polls. God bless you.